YouTube. And tell beer to us parters. No. No, we're Sorry. not cool enough to have a thing like believers or anything like that. So no. One day. It's have a beer with us day. And we're back for another beer. Our June beer is Founders Salad. Come on, autofocus. Autofocus. Autofocus is broken. Yeah. Anyway, Founders Salad Gold Premium Lager. So we're going to drink this beer and talk about some stuff. Going to be a little less scripted, a little more personal. So hopefully you guys got your Founders Solid Gold as well, or any comparable lager. Or any comparable beer, I guess. Like, you do you, boo. Woo! I love all the bubbles. Like, it makes me so excited. I, we don't get to use these uh, Pilsner glasses that no, often. No, we don't. Because, so. you know, it's all about that IPA haze craze. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand exactly when the haze craze is going to end, but it doesn't seem like there's any end in sight. I mean, it's a style oh. that's going to stick around, for sure. But, but it's a good style. I mean, we're not, you know... We're not bashing hazy beers. We, we definitely had our share of them. Oh, we love that. Well, I love them. At the same time, it makes you wonder, how long is this going to go on and what's next? I don't know. I remember when we talked with Brian when we did our video with him at Industry. What are you doing to me? Because you weren't here before? No. Anyway, we were talking to Brian from Industry about like how like when he was learning to homebrew, like Hazy went against everything you were taught about brewing. So like it's kind of, I mean, it's great that people are doing things that aren't exactly, you know, true to style, like creating new things. But what... Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. look at the light. <laughs> you feel better now? Yeah. So yeah, what's next? I am not saying that there is going to be a next thing. What I, I do... I think there is, but I do think that the way that the craft beer industry and consumerism is going is that you'll have more of these localized styles. So each region, like region, which is um, saying is a very nebulous term, mm -hmm. will have its own thing. I, I I can see here in the the Midwest that red ales are still really popular. Yeah, lots of reds, lots of wheats. Yeah, both, both of those are really popular. And I, I don't really see that much of an interest from them outside of this area, from what I can tell. But, you know, West Coast has its IPAs, its bitter beers. New England's now got its haze crate, like hazy beers, its New England style IPA, juicy. Mm -hmm. Why do our phones keep going off? Of course, like when we sit down to film, that's when everyone's like, let's talk to Dan Lizzie. Just like that. Just like that. I hope you all say that in your hearts. You know what beer I would like to see be a craze? This kind right here. I want a straight up lager now i guess there's really not a whole lot you can do with a lager perhaps i think people have been i think people have just been turned off to it lately because there's so many different other varieties and lagers have kind of been the mass market beer for the last That's 25 true. or 30 years and people are just kind of bored of them for now but if a lager is done right then it's so delicious like that i i know we've mentioned it before but that lager from dovetail is so amazingly good. And it's because it's done well. I think people are just turned off by lagers because when they're mass produced, maybe they don't have as good of- There's nothing that shines in them. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, sometimes I don't want like all those weirdo flavors. No, like, I sometimes I just want something crisp and clear and delicious without being cray cray. I have seen quite a few people be surprised that when they've had a good lager. I think, like I said, people being turned off is one thing, but as craft beer makers have kind of gone through the cycles of trying to figure out what they can or cannot do successfully, I think there's been a pocket of there's been a pocket of brewers that have figured out that they can do lagers right and people will drink it. I think that people will the the craft beer hipsters, and I'm not sure if we're one of them. Yeah. A little bit. I think more people will start to realize, oh, lagers can be good when they're done right. I also think it's a good beer to do a little bit more if it were to regain popularity, like to get people who don't drink craft beer like into the fold. I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've been at work and people ask me at a craft brewery, what do you have that's most like a Michelob Ultra or a Bud Light? And I go, nothing. No, knocking on, not knocking on the place I work or anything, but like they're catering to the craft beer people. They've got, you know, their IPAs, their stouts. More complex. More complex flavors, which, I, you know, people like us appreciate, but people that we're trying to bring into the fold maybe aren't quite as adventurous enough to make that step. 
What, would, what do you like to see? What I want is something more in the middle ground. So there's definitely people who are on the extremes. They either want really, really hoppy IPAs, double IPAs, whatever, or they want like the heavy, boozy or Russian Imperial stouts, you know, like barrel aged stouts even. I think that there's so much in the middle ground that people aren't gravitating towards. People are moving towards the extremes. We need, there needs to be something in the middle, you know, like wits or you know, just like something that's a little bit more approachable, but can still support a lot of different variations okay so, so whether it's a you know maybe it's a brown maybe it's wheat maybe it's well, what would you like to see i know this is like pulling teeth for you i would like to see a uh, more popularity out of brown ales i mean porters too because i like porters but i think brown ales is a really underrepresented uh area right now and i think some of the traditional english styles have kind of gotten put by the wayside in america english miles are really good i think i could see americans adopting it and i would like this to see like uh, american brewers adopting english mild or english style Maybe ales and making them spin on making it. them a little heavier i mean i'm bored about this let's talk about homestar runner again we were really productive today yeah no we were really productive we went grocery shopping and <laughs> yes care meal prepped we're trying to be better about our diet and exercise well, i give i mean i really give a lot of credit to the the, the two guys that uh well not one no hype beer reviews and then the other one would be review the brew uh, they've been doing this thing called the uh, beer without the belly and it's it a seems, really cool idea it seems to be pr pretty successful at least for mm -hmm. no hype uh, beer reviews we've been trying to dabble in that a little bit um we've definitely seen some adverse health effects we eat, we've been eating and not exercising the way we should have and then with this channel have been drinking a lot of beer i, I don't really have regrets about drinking the beer i have no, regrets it's just, about you have to have it all you know you have to balance. counter that with a, a healthier lifestyle in the other areas so doing a little meal prep today especially i don't know about you at your job but the cafeteria where i work is so unhealthy and so tempting it's right there and i just want to but so i gotta like bring my food for the day otherwise i'm going to pick like the least healthy thing at the cafeteria and yeah. just <laughs> i don't think we have anything that's too terribly unhealthy i think there yeah. there are a few things but i usually if i forget lunch i'll usually just get a salad at work unless it's yeah. tuesday then we get taco tuesday the cafeteria has a salad bar but it always just looks so sad I used to get this wrap at work and I thought it was like, oh, it's a wrap. You know, there's that like myth that wraps are less calories than like sandwiches. And I thought it was maybe like three, 400 calories. Oh, it's not bad. It's not, you know, super light or anything. No, they started posting the calories at work and it was like 800 calories. I'm like, well, there's my whole day. If, if you want to eat the rest of the day yeah, and, and have, a and couple have beers. beer. Well, and I think what we've been doing lately when we go out to eat has been working. Um, lately, we've been trying to share an entree when we go out and i think that's been working pretty well not only health wise but financially as well because then we're not getting two things because most of the time it's like so big yeah and you don't finish it and you just end up bringing it home and you don't need to bring it home so you, it's been working out pretty nice I, I agree so we talked in our last vlog video about our plans for the summer mm -hmm. but that was kind of the things that we knew about but there's still things that we don't know about and one of those is vacation and most of our vacations inevitably surround about surround about going to breweries yeah we try to make trips not beer trips like when we went to seattle we're like okay we're here for four days yeah we're gonna have some beer because seattle's a big beer town but we also want to actually experience it and make it not a beer trip like let's do other things it still ended up being a beer trip we did go hiking one day we did go hiking we didn't do any really any of the touristy stuff yeah no space which, needle we did pike place that's there are like two breweries within pike market so so yeah but we don't know what i don't think we know what we're still what we're doing for the, our yearly fall trip I, I think there's room to possibly do too but we've talked around with a couple ideas i think for a long time we've we talked about going to portland a couple times yes after especially after going to seattle and then you know really enjoying the west coast i could see i could see myself living there could i don't know if you could see yourself living. there are a lot of bridges i don't like bridges but i don't like driving i don't know if portland really has i mean there's a river going through portland but i don't think it's not it's not bridges like but there are seattle. mountains yeah i like the mountains mountains is nice because it's you know you're fidgeting flat, flat, yeah. under the table it's and you think i can't hear you i have to do something no, you don't. You, we're talking. You don't even doing know. something. Yeah. Other places that we talked about. We yeah. talked about going to San Francisco or the Bay Area. We talked about going to the East Coast. East Coast has come up very frequently. Yeah. Like, I mean, who doesn't want to go to, like, Treehouse, Trillium? Equilibrium. Excluding New York City. Oh, I 
I like New York City. There's just not enough. I mean, I'm interested in going to New York City, but that's like its whole. Th- it's a, that's its own thing, right? It is. I went there a few years ago. I mean, we might be able to swing like a upstate New York and part of the Northeast, but not. And see, we talked too about doing like Mid Atlantic, like Ohio, Pennsylvania, and like Northern New York, because uh, some of our beer friends. Some of you who might be watching right at this very moment. We might want to come visit. And then like just like Ohio, we have a friend who lives in Cleveland. Hoppin' Frog Brewery is not far from there. We like Hoppin' Frog. Um, And then Pennsylvania's got some good ones. I want to go to Pennsylvania mostly to go to Scranton and like pretend I live live and breathe the office. Because a lot of the places they talk about in the show are actually real to the city of Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm sure they are. And it's so fun. I, I have a couple other places that I'm interested in. Like I wouldn't mind going out to Washington, D.C. again. I mean, Richmond isn't that far away, and Richmond's got a couple of really good breweries right now, The Vale and The Answer. Oh, yeah. That's not our dog barking, right? Nope. nope. Our dog's asleep. She's sleeping. Other places. Other places? South? Mm, there's not a whole lot we're interested in. I mean, our friends are moving back to New Orleans. They were in Houston. They're moving back to New Orleans, so I would like to go visit them again, because New Orleans was a fun time. Not a huge beer place. No, not really. But still a really good time. If we're talking about beer, Tampa's got a pretty good scene. The Tampa area, St. Petersburg, oh, Tampa. Oh, sure, sure. And uh, then you can, it's a nice place to go in the wintertime, of course. But go in and go to Disney World. Yeah, I didn't think you wanted to go to Disney. I, I, there's just some <laughs> stigma about adults without kids who go to Disney. I don't want to be lumped into that group of cray crays. Like, we're not that crazy. I mean, I love to go to Disney, but I feel like we need to go with people who have kids and, like, get lumped into that group. Or we need to have a kid and go to Disney. I'm less inclined on that option. <laughs> Texas. Anything in Texas? Mm, yeah, Texas. I want to go to Austin. Austin's on my list. It's got a Austin. good music scene. It's very bumping uh, town now. Why can't we? Okay, so instead of just doing like two little fall trips, let's just, in starting in the fall, go to all the places we want to go to, quit our jobs, never do anything ever again except travel and drink uh, beer. We have to make money somehow. I mean, you just got to take your clothes off, Dan. I think we're just going to make a Patreon. I, I'm telling you, Dan, stripping, there's no, there's nothing wrong with stripping. Okay? You can take your clothes off. You want me to do that? Yeah, I want you to be the stripper. I'll be your manager. Yeah, so we still don't know where to go. And if you have any suggestions of where we should go, please help. Please! I would say right now we're kind of, I would say we're mostly toying between the Northeast. I think that's probably our where we're leaning on it. And then maybe Portland or Austin. This is this is really hitting the spot right now. We were, we were looking at the can earlier, and we thought it says memorable quality. That could mean too many things. That could mean, like, memorable because it's bad or memorable because it's excellent. But, but I, I mean, that says legendary taste. So, I mean, I'm guessing that's a good thing. But just, like, looking at it kind of, like, offhand, and you're like, uh. It's kind of an old school. <laughs> it's kind of an old school label. I like it, though. It's just nice and easy, especially when we're doing something like this to have, you know, not something that we're really trying to pull anything out of. We're just trying, we're just drinking it. Drinking it. Not the best lager I've ever had, but it's no. a very good lager. Dovetail. Dovetail lager is the best. Yeah, I would have to agree. I mean, I don't really go on my way to get lagers. Um, probably the best I've ever had. I don't think I've tried it yet, but we always seem to have the Riggs Lager available where I work. And people love that. People love that Riggs Lager. And Riggs is a brewery that's in uh, Shambana. They're on the east side of Urbana. Yeah, so about two hours away from us. And we get some of that at work and people really like that lager. I, I keep wanting to try it, but there's so many beers that we make there that I would rather have as my shift beer. Wrap it up? Yeah, you wrap it up. Talking about condoms. Sure, okay, get it. You don't get my dirty jokes. We we can't wrap it up, we're not done. I am. Me too. Well, thanks for having a beer with us. Yeah. To wrap up, we had a couple of questions. One, what kind of styles are you guys interested in, in seeing making a resurgence? Mm-hmm. If you had to pick, now what are you predicting, but what do you want? What would you like to see be the new haze craze beer? What would you like to see trending? And two, give us your your opinions on places that we should go. So we said Northeast, Mid Atlantic. Oh, we said everywhere. And West were kind of our top ones. But you know, if you have something else that's uh, worth seeing, we want to hear from you. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having a beer, beer with, with us. us. James! No, James! No! No! I stick your nose in here. I won that one. No, you didn't. Until next time! Boo! We're till Jinx do us part. <laughs> uh, bye! You have to stop filming.
fidgeting. You can sit on your hands, cut your hands off. Dan died. 